Today, we go inside the Atlantic Foundry Manufacturing Plant in Akron, Ohio. It closed down in 1989, and they made iron castings for the rubber, steel, and mining industries. This is also the site where 19-year-old honor student Adrian lost her life after falling through the roof. Link to this tragic story will be included in the description below. Thank you for watching. Just animals. That was a person. Yeah, I think it was a person, dude. Was a person. What do you want to do? You want to stay? You want to go? What do you want to do? Well, we can stay. Yeah, let's stay for as long as we can. I believe that's just animals. All right, let's stay. All right, let's stay. Let's let's just go ahead and stay. We'll we'll chance it. All right, guys. Um. All right, I'm back again with another urban exploration. Uh, today, I'm inside of a, an abandoned uh, factory. Uh, you can, as you can see, there's tow motors and stuff like behind. So I'm, I'm not sure if there is people here with us or not. Uh, I heard some questionable noises, so uh, I guess we'll see. So uh, I guess we'll just go around it poke around and see uh see what we'll find see see what's left and uh see if we could we can make it out of here so uh let's get on with this explore guys machines right here let me get a little closer so you guys can look let's see what this is so here is it's a huge pit down here of course there's some some drums. I'm sure there's some toxic waste left behind. Oh, here's here we go. Speak of the devil. Chemicals.
All right, here we have some more, I'm sure, toxic liquid left behind and some more control room right here. Oh man, look at this down there. That won't kill. Alright, so we have another tow motor and toxic drums with the American flag on it. And this baby out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And a whole bunch of toxic drums all over the place. And I don't really want to step through all this stuff because I know I don't know what it is. I don't know what kind of chemical it is. I don't know what they produced. Uh, actually, I'm I'm like a tag along so um, on this explorer. So, any idea what they produced here, bro? I believe it's steel. Oh, okay. It was steel. Yeah, because there's a ladle. This is a stamping press. And that right there, that machine with the claw, uh -huh. that looks like it grabbed the ladles. Gotcha. Yeah, I had to check out the claw on this. Looks like a, looks like a transformer. I'm going to assume this is where they kept the raw materials. I'm not sure, but this is, this is my guess. Yeah. So, wow. <clears throat> yeah, guys, this is, uh, pretty much everything was left behind here. So, I was thinking, uh, I was about to start wrapping this video up, and it's going to be a little bit longer, so bear with me. I guess there's a little bit more to see.
I sure as heck don't want to fall down there. Are you keeping count? I'm not sure how many of these I found. Is this a generator? Tucked off in the corner? I guess we still have some metal left behind. And we have some pallets back here as well. Some skids underneath these, these tarps. And now we're getting into the nasty stuff. And you see the oil and stuff. Dock doors right here, and there's some more right here, and oh, there's some bins as well. Man, this area really smells like chemicals. I don't know what's in here, but. It smells like chemicals, and I don't know what's over there. And there. It's very sludgy, and it smells very bad. So it says health, health, and it is flammable, fire explosion hazard. So whatever is left in here, it is hazardous and it is toxic. I see a, a funnel right here in this. So it's some kind of oil-based product.
Hmm. Interesting. I'm curious. I want to poke around over there, but I don't want to track all this stuff over, you know, inside my car. So, I guess I'm going to have to uh, pass on this one. But, I don't know. Any clues on whatever this stuff is? I mean, there, there's some buckets right here, too. And this stuff is, I don't know what this is. Hazardous, I know that. Alright, I know my light isn't really good. I don't have my LED panel or anything with me. But here is a washing machine here back in this little area. And here's an old, I don't know, is this a, a lathe machine? Right here. I don't know if you can see it real, real good. I'm sorry if you can't. And here are, looks like stone. So there's a whole bunch of stone back here. And, this, and that could be that pink stuff that I seen back there in the back. And here's some more back over here. Maybe you can see it a little bit better if I can get up a little closer, but yeah. Here's the stone. Here's the pink stuff. And let me show you the uh, old school lathe too. Let me show you what kind it is too. Um, American Pacemaker. That's what it says. There's a really old light bulb sitting right here, so watch your footing. Alright. I, I apologize for. Uh, not having a light, but I just accessed the part um, I wasn't able to access before, and there are actually CNC machines that are left behind in here. So now the equipment that is left behind has reached several thousand dollars. So I guess they're, the CNC machines are made by, uh, let's see, Helitronic um, by Walter, the Walter Company. Um, as you can see, there's, I mean, they're still in pretty good condition. And I do apologize for the poor lighting. But here's one machine right here. Um, here's another machine as well. And it says Walter. And actually, there might be another one in here as well. Yeah, there is over here in the in the corner. All right, everyone, I made it back around to where I started. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's a, an industrial building. Um, wasn't really too much left, but. Um, I do enjoy these explorers just as much as uh, the rest of them, and I hope you do as well. So um, I will be back here with another abandoned vid video shortly, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification uh, button, and I will see you shortly in the next video. Thank you for watching.